Okay, so this uh, video will be about the Expander MCP. So this is the MCP. Um, I'm not going to add this one on because um, I don't have a jumper for it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the jumpers are quite small and they uh, tend to disappear if you uh, don't keep an eye on them. So uh, unfortunately, we've lost that one. But um, this is a KAC MCP, as you can see. So it's just a simple um, mechanism that we're all probably very used to. Um, if we look in the back, we've got the six AA alkaline batteries. Um, normally our jumper would go here. And obviously this is our log on button that we would press. And once we press that, the LED on the front of the uh, call point starts to flash and then we could add it on um, to the interface. Um, this is one of the only interfaces, uh, the only devices that actually has two um, log-on buttons. So if we uh, open up the front of the call point and look inside and we can use a screwdriver to undo the call point. It's not done up too tightly, which it is. Incredible Hulk did this one up. There we go. We look inside, it's actually got another log on button here. So, this is exactly the same PCB that's used inside the um, detectors, detection devices, um, and it's got the log on button in the middle, of course. So if this was on the wall and we didn't want to take the back off, we could feasibly take the front off of this and press the log on button um, to log it onto the interface if we needed to. Okay, but um, other than that, it's a fairly sort of standard manual core point. Um, works the same as any XP95 wired manual core point. And um, will obviously give you a very fast response if someone hits the call point, um, even though it's uh, a wireless device.